Hello, you're in for a crazy episode today. I'll let you see why. Um, I am coming and doing, coming, ew, I'm doing stand-up. You guys, January 14th, I'll be at Wise Guys Comedy Club in Salt Lake City. January 21st, Zanies Nashville. And then I'm coming to Raleigh, Cap City in Austin, Indianapolis, and that's it. I'll see you there. Tickets at esteronice.com and sleepoverbyester.com is my clothing line. Hello, sluggies. I am back on the road. I can't wait to see you in this upcoming new year. In January, I will be in Edmonton, Canada, Alberta, Canada. I will be at the Improv in Milwaukee, Off the Hook in Naples, Florida, and Side Splitters in Tampa, Florida, and a bunch more dates coming up. Please look at annieletterman.com slash shows. Come see me. Wait, do Another you have thing. that fantasy of just um um suckling on a teat? No, I don't. She has a fantasy of suckling on a teat that used to have fake tits, but now doesn't have them. Are you into fake tits? <laughs> Uh, this is I, oh no not fake are you into augmented a, um, breasts this is a Christmas episode and this is technically within the confines of the wholesome 10 what did I teach you earlier what's this phrase that I told you to say manakalia awakitak <laughs> awaki taco bell how do we say Merry Christmas <laughs> manakalia hala holocaust <laughs> holocaust Esther that never happened <laughs> <laughs> everybody welcome to the show <laughs> Come on now. We don't talk about those such things. By the <laughs> way, when we go to the scope, this is, we're in Kalila's hometown right now, the hometown dates. You guys, I don't live here. When I'm not, go, this is my hometown. And when, Kalila's pretending she doesn't live here. I don't live here. When we go to Skokie, we're going to the Holocaust Museum, Annie. That sounds like a blast, Esther. Please take me with it you. Actually I can't wait. Be, uh, any... Any vacation with Esther is very Holocaust museum-ish. <laughs> That's exactly how I would say it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're what, welcome. So we're what day three now? Day three. We're in day three. Hawaii. We should probably recap what we did yesterday. Where's my fan? Oh, that's right. Let me get my fan. I'm. I yesterday went so bad for me that today I had to get high right when I woke up. Why did you think it went bad? Because my allergies oh, yeah. ruined my day. Um, I I don't know. <laughs> I forgot why. You're on. <laughs> I so, think I just had to get high today. <laughs> but you were high yesterday, weren't you? At night, yeah. Well, no, not at night, Esther. You were so high during Esther. the museum visit. Oh, yeah. I needed to really have a spiritual experience there. Uh, listen, I'm going to tell you guys something. There will be a reel revealing all of these things. I, I'm working on a reel right now, <laughs> an investigative reel about how Esther got too high for a museum. <laughs> it was, I will tell you, okay, so it's a museum that of the Islamic art. So all of the... Artwork is symmetrical, so it's supposed to show the perfection of God. So everything is symmetrical, all of their artwork, except there's always one imperfection because they don't want to be yeah. disrespectful to God. Oh. Yeah. It, it kind so of like in, in this podcast, Esther, you're the imperfection. <laughs> <laughs> you're our smudge. You're did you hear what I was on saying? The rug. When he explained that, how I was shouting, yes, I love this. No, when you he, were in another room, Esther. <laughs> and you, we lost Esther. There like was six Esther, times we lost you. We, and we obviously were not supposed to be in there, okay? Our, our lovely tour guide, mm -hmm. I, I think he probably got in a little trouble. <laughs> the security guard chased me out and was like, while we were leaving, and was like, don't ever touch the art. And I was like, I touched the art? I don't even remember touching the art. I was the like, security chased you he out? Was, yes, and he was really upset. And I was like, oh my God, if I did, I didn't mean to do it. I'll never do it again. But he was so mad at me. For reference, if you guys want to Google Shangri-La, it's, it's like Doris beautiful. Duke's home and she, her and Doris a lifetime. Yeah, a billionaire ahead, heiress. She's the, she's the Annie of the podcast. She If she were on the podcast, she'd be sitting in the middle. Built, she built this amazing mansion with all these not this part this is parts not me <laughs> she, Lila, you explain it so it just she, it was really she, cool. it was sick she Rich took a voyage life. in her 20s um around the world and she landed in hawaii she fell in love with the place but she was also really into islamic art so she collected that over like 60 years of her life and it's all in this one home that they call the shangri-la yeah and um she, she left also, her husband for one of the island boys she did yeah right? so she had like a she had a this was supposed to be her summer house in hawaii and then she ended up living here full-time and she was banging 
uh, some young Jane. island boy. I don't remember which one. I mean, it, that's the thing. It's like, I think, what are your thoughts on that? I think, can you ever go to a place like this and not take on a lover? I Listen, I brought my young island boy with me and he's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Hang loose. He's my island boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, the Hawaiian, that's like not, you know what it is? That's not your type? The whole, Are you, you mean, racist? Well, no, Brown and beautiful no, is not your type. Almond eyes. You didn't let me fucking finish. The lifestyle that a Hawaiian person leads is very like laid back here. You're on the island. Like I'm more attracted to someone who's like lives in a scared like New York City like situation. Like an Italian greyhound. Yes. That's the vibe of a man that you like. Yeah. She wants a guy like you're Skittish. not going to meet him. You're not going to meet him unless you run into him like on an elevator. <laughs> like <laughs> Wait, explain. No, she yeah. wants someone from succession. No, no. He, no. Yeah. Someone, no. Don't you have a crush on yeah. Ken? Yeah. Kendall, Kendall Roy. Yeah. yeah. Look at her. Look at her face. I talk she about wants it in a my Kendall act. Roy. That's why I'm like, how do I talk about it here? Why I don't listen. I'll be honest, <laughs> Esther. I know like one of your new bits, and then I hear laughter. I go, she's okay. She doesn't need me, and I sit down. And I don't room. care. What? You? I know you know my whole act. Can you imagine if I thought you were sitting in the audience? I know you're long gone when I go on stage. <laughs> long gone. Esther's in Los Feliz by the time I set foot in West Hollywood. <gasps> <laughs> okay so back to the museum visit it was awesome it was really cool i did get lost carlos and i got lost at one point there's something with the acoustics in the place where we could not hear where you guys were it was like you were like did they get raptured <laughs> did we like go vape outside and get like <laughs> we got we escaped the rapture and then we went out and we were like running through this field and i think the security guard was mad about that too because when we oh, did find you guys security twice when we came when huh. we did find you guys not my uh vibe. the navid the guy that was giving us the tour when did you have fun out there which means he got walkie talkie oh. about us running around and i was like we did we actually did have fun so would you say Kyla, your experience doing a museum tour with annie and esther like one is like very <laughs> clearly like the bad kid and then the other is like the more artsy like i wouldn't call you artsy, artsy. <laughs> you're high. I wouldn't call you artsy. Too high to be in trouble <laughs> oh. esther i'll post the pics it's coming <laughs> esther you were in a different museum <laughs> <laughs> You were in a museum um, somewhere very, very, very far away from where we you were. You were at. in a museum of ham arts. Okay? <laughs> we were in uh, Islam arts. What's ham? What? I don't know. Okay. Esther was, where was Esther? Esther was um, definitely in the other room with George's baby, by the way. I will say this, George, <laughs> your baby. <laughs> oh no <laughs> when you can't when you showed up with the baby and it goes the tour guy goes there's a lot of stairs <laughs> <laughs> oh they like totally didn't want george's baby to go <laughs> like this is a baby free zone um <laughs> it was good but there was a lot of um, it is a baby free zone because doris duke had a baby that only lived for a day yeah right? it's very oh they didn't like, want the baby in there your living baby came and to mocked bring your her. living baby into but a woman's house who had to mourn her baby doris duke did seem it did seem kind of lonely like i the idea of like collecting things from like other parts of the world and owning a piece of it there's a lot of controversial art in there because some of it was like sacred from tombs that shouldn't have been taken and they were stolen but i think that's a conversation around like all museums nowadays is like yeah. repatriating or repatriation just in general like returning things to where like they were originally from but he was saying like certain things would have been bombed out yeah of it would be just destroyed. nothing yeah do you want to destroy it or do um but so day two i would say was relatively successful for us as a group mm -hmm. i will say that we didn't make it to the strip club we did not make it to the strip club i think esther um called that one off first although I, we I, were all we were all pretty tired we that makes me it. happy because i i was pretty worried i was like oh are they gonna be upset but i was so tired at 8 30 i fell asleep like i passed here's the, this is what i'm learning about vacation okay you need to jam pack your day with stuff todd and i were talking about this on the way over jam pack your day with stuff so you are tired but if you do want to do something like a strip club you have to accompany it you have to attach it to a dinner yeah. so oh. when you go home it's still light out it's right before dinner time i don't want to be so fat when you get ready, a strip club but you don't need a lot you don't eat a lot. I cannot not do that. I've watched it this time, bitch. I know you're eating patterns now. And I've learned. <laughs> Listen, we worked out together. Now we're bound. We went out to breakfast. She wasn't eating the carbs. You have to tell me ahead of time we're not eating the carbs. <laughs> if I think you're eating the carbs, I go carbs first, okay? If we worked out together that day, we're on the same eating pattern. Right, here's the thing. You have to eat all the healthy things up front so you're too full to eat the unhealthy things on yes. the back end. However, That's my I've pattern. Never had the, I never had the grilled biscuit i thought maybe we were on a special you went occasion. biscuit first on your breakfast I and we ordered the exact same first. thing i feel left out look 
We ordered the same thing for breakfast because we worked out together. And yeah, I ate the eggs sorry, and the meat first. You told us you don't have neck muscles. I didn't know that you could exercise. <laughs> Esther is still, there's a running theory that Esther has that she has no neck muscles. You are using my weaknesses against me. <laughs> okay, the doctor told me that in private. Esther, you have no neck muscles. All of these things that aren't a thing that could possibly happen happen in a, pr a private room <laughs> with this doctor that doesn't exist. Okay, it's Carlos's no. dad. <laughs> <laughs> there's going to be and we want to thank Carlos's dad for sponsoring this podcast there's going to be a private room at the strip club with your name on it little girl <laughs> and it's just a doctor in there telling you there's things wrong with you <laughs> that's how you get your jollies off you look like you give a nice laugh dance in that outfit you little <laughs> you little whore you may be deceived they did I do want to be on, you little okay. piggy we didn't choose no, these wanna, outfits listen Pete got these outfits for us okay under I'm George's offended. At George under George's great role. job, Pete. And then he labeled great them. Who job. gets what? By the way, yeah, I, I'm the grandma. Fuck you. <laughs> Ew, your period showing. No, <laughs> I would have much rather been out. in that. I would have much rather been in that outfit, Esther. I promise you. I don't know how this. I have the best outfit. Yeah, you do. But I, you I will tell sure you, they do. have like up your pussy underwear. They got me. So it was supposed to be just this, and it's up like in it. Well, oh, it's inside. Yeah, you I don't know think the it's, inside ones. I don't think it's supposed to go in. No, it is. There's only a little string. <laughs> <laughs> it's a string thong that goes into the front. Annie, it's not supposed to go in it's there. True. Wait, you put the thong part up your pussy? It's not. There's not another option. <laughs> it's just a string. Oh, okay. It's just a string across. It's this pervert Pete, and his, he's Help home with his family, me. his perverted family. Help me. I got you guys presents. Can I give you guys my yes. what? presents? What? I didn't know it was the Christmas episode. You did know it was the Christmas episode. I did. Hawaii. Look, I got Christmas Jordans, guys. I mailed this outfit. Holy fuck. I got these ahead of time. They came in time. I put the fucking red laces in. I oh. want a lap dance for you. For I'm going to show you. Do you want to see my thing? Look, oh my God. The in. The it's in her vagina. It goes in. Annie, that's a medical malfunction. Oh, fuck. Like you're waiting for that's a pH imbalance waiting to happen. That's right, baby. I'm going to get a beastie yeasty on an island. I'm an <laughs> island girl. Okay. All right. I want to go home. All right. So this is for, I have four presents. I got to give them in a certain order. Okay. Kalila, this is for you. Oh my God. Yes. Kalila, oh no. show everyone the present. Uh, it's a calendar that says men. Of the Hawaiian Islands. Oh, I wonder what calendar I'm gonna hold get. On, hold on. <laughs> this has this to one's have... for Esther. <laughs> what does it say? That's a girl. <laughs> Girls of the okay. Hawaiian Islands. I have okay, one for honestly, George. I'm psyched about. I this. have one for George. George, this is one of all the places you can't go because you brought your family with you. <laughs> so you brought your fucking baby with. You. We have no vacation. What does it say? He's stuck in a hotel room, raining with his wife. Yeah. They get up at four. They have to get up at four a.m. because the baby's on L.A. time, Ooh. and they have to wait for places to open to eat breakfast. They're starving to death in their own. <laughs> George is having the number one worst vacation of his life. The first place opens at six a.m. and there's a line by six oh five. Okay, now Carlos, an I got the, and Carlos, I got this one for I you. I will say that George, I got this one for Carlos. <laughs> Carlos also gets Another the men, men of the Hawaiian Islands. <laughs> Carlos, you and I, we're calendar twins. I've been dying to give you those presents. <laughs> George, I will say this, that... He's still looking at it. <laughs> Carlos gave it a real deep look, I'll tell you that. He really checked that bit out. Didn't Carlos, he? <laughs> I'm not shy. I like mine. Ooh, look at those But titties. I want to see the guys. I want to look at the guys. Um, Kalila, have you bagged any of them? <laughs> I probably at least four of the t 12 on here. Let me let me take a closer look. This episode is <laughs> unreasonable. We were talking about Why? The holiday seasons, or as I like to call it, the ho holiday seasonal affective disorder times are. It's, it's ding, depression ding, ding. time, guys. We all regress when we go see our families. Life is hard. You might <laughs> you might be at home with your family stressed out. You might be in Hawaii with your coworkers wanting to kill each other. <laughs> it's hard nonetheless. Regardless, <laughs> you need better help. Check out betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist and connect in a safe and private online environment. It is so convenient and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. You can send a message to your counselor anytime and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions, which, Annie, maybe you should uh, schedule one for tonight. Yeah, you know what's weird when you guys, sometimes people are like, it's rude. Annie's looking at her phone. Well, I'm actually texting my therapist, okay? <laughs> She's journal entrying. I'm letting them know what's going on. Giving them the update. <laughs> 
BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed, which is... Come on, guys. It's you're not gonna get. It's, you're not gonna match with your. Yeah, it's too it's, hard. Yeah. I've gone through so many therapists. Uh, they've gone through you. Let's be real. <laughs> it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, and financial aid is available. And this service is available for clients worldwide. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at BetterHelp.com/slash/trash Tuesday. Join over. 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Tuesday. Um, Can we talk about the rape room? Okay, wait, we have what? so much. Okay, what? a lot happened. Esther, you left, okay? You left. You oh, left Annie. Wait, should we talk about By Nick? the way, we so oh, we to, to say I left. They literally left me in a different car, but I left. That's so like how you, you shame you were the nerd so high. the next day. You were just, you're like, nerd, it was your fault we ditched you. Well, you maybe fucking... get the fucking hint, bitch, and stop being such a nerd. <laughs> we didn't want you leaking your period blood everywhere. We were trying to hang out. I would have. Wait, can I just want about Carlos? He came back to the hotel room last night and he walked in and I heard the toilet flush and I was like, oh, sorry. Did I leave my tampon in there? He's like, yeah. You're not supposed to flush tampons. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> At least you didn't leave it out. Have you ever forgotten? Sometimes I wrap it up and I leave it out. And Have you ever like had a, a guy take it out for you before he has sex with you on your period? No. That's um, great. I have. I had that, but it was in Germany when I was 15. Of course it'd be in Germany. Counts. And of course she'd be underage. <laughs> you were 15? We threw it out the window, yeah. Wait, wait have you done that? Yeah, as Thomas an adult, Kreuter. not at 15. Maybe as a, as a teenager. You're not too, like as in squeamish about what they're going to no, no, see? No, no, no. No, not at all. Why not? Um, they should know about the clots. Yeah. We should know. It is gross. This is the thing when guys are like, ew, it's gross. Don't tell us about it. It's like, no, no, no. It is gross. And you do need to know about it. Get to it. know it. Touch one. It's so much grosser than you think. We don't yeah, talk about the so diarrhea. Nothing. We keep the diarrhea a secret. We do. Okay? I, know. I don't poo in front of lovers. I no, I have a strictly I, I have a strict open door, open bathroom door policy in my relationships. We all know. Todd has to make direct eye contact for me for the poop to plop out. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Todd, my ain't that God. right, baby? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He's watching sports. Wearing oh, it is football. He bet Sunday. on sports. I'm, I support this. Annie, how does it feel knowing that your boyfriend and I wear the same shoes? That you wear the same shoes? Do you get turned on around I do me? think like metaphorically you do wear the same shoes. You are kind <laughs> of like good to have around, but not fully necessary. You know, it's not. <laughs> it's a bonus. <laughs> but it's there. Um, no, you guys both have Yeezys. I like that. I like. No, anytime you spend money, I'm happy. <laughs> When you have things that my people have, my rich people have, then by the way, this is this is the trip. Everyone summed up. Annie just wants all of us to spend all our money. Kalila, Not all of our money. Kalila no, no, no. is just having the worst vacation disappears. of my life. <laughs> Kalila, this is what's so sad. Okay, I realized what it is with Kalila because I was like, she's melancholy. Like she's, I'm talking to her. She's annoyed. I go, it's because this bitch is. She's like the movie where they fuck the fish, you know? Which one? The movie where they fuck the fish at the end? Um, the, the one, the Guillermo del Toro yes, movie. Yes, the Guillermo del Toro movie um, where he fucks the fish. That is Kalila. Kalila needs to be with the water. She needs to be with right. the fish. The rain has ruined her life. Yeah, I, I haven't been able to fuck fish on this trip. But, you, really but you know what I mean? Like I mean it more like you yeah. have a love affair with the ocean. I do, yeah, yeah. When we go to Skokie, I'm going to ditch you guys for bagels. You'll never know where I am. We're going to know where you are at the bagel place. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or in your parents' basement. I'm going to be in your parents' room. All right. Let's move We're going to crate you in your own in your parents' house. I would love to. And she's we're going to leave you. Yeah. She feels safe behind a, a fence screaming. <laughs> That's Annie, our happy place. Let's move on to- um, Wait, there's our, a couple things. Wait, okay, can, yeah, go ahead. When I showed up to the museum, first of all, the Sh Shangri-La Museum is- it is absolutely gorgeous. It gorgeous. really is like amazing. And Navid was so nice for showing us around. It was really mm -hmm. awesome. They have a foundation there. They show us, they were showing us a bunch of new artists that they house there, which by the way, if you can get that position oh as God. the artist yeah. living at this. They have a playhouse. Doris Duke was like, there were, there's some shady, maybe there was some slavery in her family's history, stuff like that. But other than that, if she was Mind, being woke, some mild being looting. a girl, yeah. some looting, stuff like that. She was a woman who liked to spend some money and I she, can mm -hmm. enjoy that. I do like that about her, but I will say this. Okay. So when I show up to the place, Todd and I are driving around. We got our own car, a convertible Range Rover. It's really cute. We had the top down once. <laughs> it rained on us, but it was worth it. Anyway, so we go, um, 
we go to get there and we can't, it's like a weird hidden away place. Yeah. It doesn't look like a museum. So we're driving around. There's this guy just like sitting outside in front of the gate. Yeah. And we drive around a couple of times and I'm like, Dude, hi, are you? And he goes, it said something like, we said your name, Kalila. And I was like, yeah. okay. So then he's like, I got you something. And he's like giving us stuff. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And he's cute. He's attractive enough that I'm not like, I haven't screamed Stranger Danger too hard. Right, right. But Todd and I are not getting out of the car. <laughs> Okay. He gives me crab. He gives me crab legs, chips. Yeah. Flavored chips, which is really a thoughtful, amazing gift. But to come from a stranger is, it was surprising. Okay. So you thought he was a stalker that just happened I to. I went to Kalila say what time we were coming here or something on something. Oh, you were scared. Why did I, he didn't bring me a present. <gasps> did huh? you guys both get presents? We go, both got <laughs> gift bags from Nick. Yeah. What was in it? Um, is, he got me Filipino treats. He got me shoes. Um, he got but, but he me, got her a bunch of stuff like birthday stuff. What did you birthday get? Stuff. I got crab leg potato chips. Okay, let's just keep but going. but listen. <laughs> hey, so do you I'm remember that him. carrot thing you refused to eat? Yeah, oh. he brought you dim sum, bitch. He did. Oh. He brought you dim and the sum. dim sum was so good. Where was so that place? Good. I want to go back to that place. <laughs> it's in Chinatown. It was so good. Anyway, so he brought us all these gifts and stuff. Like, Thank it you. could easily have been poisoned. I am looking at him and finally I just text the group. I go, who is this man I'm speaking to? And Claudia goes, oh, that's my friend, Nick, the jeweler. I go, oh, Nick, the jeweler. I go, oh, okay. Cause he was like, let's smoke weed. I got I thought weed. you were making a joke. Who is this man I'm talking to? And I thought it was Todd. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like she's fine. Yeah, no, killed. no, no. But he was great. He ended up being really cool and hung out with us. He was the, the thing. best, yeah. He was great. And Nick, you did not bring us jewelry. And it's I think weird Annie, to be a jeweler that doesn't bring jewelry for so us. I want it. Can you set it The us? whole time you kept telling him like, look, I thank you for the gifts, but where's the jewelry? I want jewelry. And I, I stand by this, Nick. What's Nick's Instagram? Um, Instagram? N underscore Potash. N underscore Potash. Follow him. It's so good. You will be seeing his his jewelry on our body soon. Right, Nick? <laughs> right, Nick? Um, it was really cool. But you should check him out. Check out the museum. We did have a lot of fun. But anyway, so then we go to another museum after right. we drop Esther off. <laughs> yeah. Nick hops in the car. It's the four of us. Had no idea they were going out to another museum. Ama amazing. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Keep carry on. It would have been fun with her there. Yeah, too. it would have. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. No one right. told me. But you <laughs> went in the car with the Georgians. <laughs> I rode home with a crying baby. With a baby, baby. car, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. No, the, I'm sorry. The baby rode home with a crying baby. <laughs> Let's be clear. In one of the rooms, there was an exhibit. Oh, now oh, I get to yes. hear about how wonderful the museum was? <laughs> it was <laughs> really uh, Honestly, it was amazing. It was amazing. Oh, cool. yeah. It should have been called the Slug Museum because it was right up our alley. We went into a room. My well, friend had an exhibit there. My friend, she's an artist. Her name is Nicole Naone. She's amazing. And, so hot. Um, there was a geodesic dome there. And it was uh, a whole <laughs> exhibit basically to... Um, around the Mona Kea protest. It's, it was beautiful. It was It moving. was really beautiful. She, there was VR. We did virtual reality. We had reality. virtual reality. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> there was oh, in wow, the other part of the room. At the same time at that one, that was cute. <laughs> well, both... Annie and I bonded over something, and it was, it's not a good thing that we bonded over. Wait, I feel like we need to like end Nicole's part because Nicole's part was so good. So Nicole, we went into this dome, and you can see the virtual reality of this land. It was really beautiful. And really Big amazing. Island, yeah, it's on the Big top Island. Of, okay, yeah. well, I guess I sort of loved it. Yeah, well, I was at the Big Island last week, so. But we did that. I know without us, <laughs> and this is your payback. But we did that after we went. That was a palate cleansing. After we went into another room that I would like to call the rape room. <laughs> what? Without <laughs> was, me? Without you, we went into the rape room. <laughs> So there was a there was a a rape log where you like log your rapes. Yeah. I, I mean it couldn't have been more before you enter a room, there's a book there where women people have talked about when they've been violated, whatever, whatever. And then or inside what they've the room witnessed, which is kind of our podcast. <laughs> I was like, you're ripping off of us. <laughs> but Annie goes in there and there's like a thousand like flowers around. It's really and beautiful. It it's a red you. light. And Annie's like, I think I've been unraped. It's unraping me. And then we went, so then we went and saw the land. But I was looking into the distance thinking there may be like a little raping happening what? in the VR after what we'd been through. <laughs> they also had a tent. They had a homeless person come in and recreate their camp inside the that museum. Cool. Yeah. So then later when our friend Nick missed his trip back to Hawaii, I was like, there is a tent in the museum you can probably sleep in. <laughs> yeah. Nick, that was where's an the jewelry? <laughs> Where is the jewelry, Nick? He's like, it would have been so weird if I brought you guys jewelry. It's like, no, Nick. Not at all. Be weird. Not at all. It's actually weird you're a jeweler and you brought us 
not Jules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about when he gave me the weed instead of you? You, I watched through the windshield. Wait, that was the gift he got you. It was the weed? No, Annie took it. He it was for Annie. You apologized profusely. Oh my god, it was for me. That was the gift was for, you. for you. Was the weed? Oh, this is crazy. It Annie came over. You. She goes, "That weed was for me," and I'm like, I and I was literally, I'm sitting in the car like this. You I'm guys, so have sorry. I ever treated Esther like that? Have I ever, have I ever treated Esther like this? I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. It's for you. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I gave it right back to I you. I was like, I need something soft to hit her on the head with. <laughs> Um, listen, that's not what happened, but that's no, way it's okay. I don't know. You were apologizing. Anyway. You were high, and then you had the paranoia of edibles. Right. While that is not true. I watched her from. I, here's what happened I watched him give me the weed. He walked she was back in fear. She over was to in Annie. Fear. He said something to Annie, and Annie goes, uh uh. And she <laughs> looks up at me, and I'm like, no, it's yours, ma'am. <laughs> she held you up at gunpoint. Because <laughs> you know I'm right. I saw you go. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then march over, and I'm like, <laughs> March over, like the grudge. Shoulders first. Did I army crawl over? <laughs> I was shocked. I was floored. I was knocked to the ground. My knees hey, were George. weak when I found out that he gave the joints to Esther, not me. George. I fell to the floor and I army crawled to get what was mine. Just a moment before George and Carlos had witnessed me getting in the car with a big smile on my face. Guys, I got this weed for us. And then I go, Ooh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Yeah, no, Esther wanted to smoke weed with George's baby. You would have lost your mind on our car ride over there because um, the, the baby. baby was sleeping. So George- oh, we couldn't talk. Well, not only could we not talk, um, the the sounds that were playing were baby Mozart so that baby <laughs> could stay asleep. And then- George, you fucked up. <laughs> you made a big mistake. And I remember thinking to having a moment to myself, I'm like, yes, this is the Hawaiian trip I have dreamed of my whole life. It's just for George to fuck this up more. It's so crazy. It's like George's wife has been trapped in a hotel yeah. in the pouring rain with their kid where they could just be at home <laughs> in the pouring. Like it's probably sunny at home too. Like, <laughs> she could just be having a regular life. George is like, no, we're going on a, a vacation. It'll be a work vacation. It'll be fun. It'll, and then nothing yeah. He's been able to do nothing. Esther. What up? How many free trial subscriptions? So many. End up costing you hundreds that you a don't lot. even know about? It's bad. Annie? Honestly, Esther, you're supposed to be managing this for me because it's wild. It's out of control. <laughs> I signed up for something the other day. I went, oh, no. It's just the, the fact that we have to remember to unsubscribe yes. in a week. I love Trouble. It just reminded me that I forgot to end my subscription for a plant app. So you put sad. it on the plant and it tells you if you need to water it or not. I have one plant. I did it one time. I found out what the plant was called, how much to water it. Forgot to. I spent seventy two ninety nine for one year of it. <laughs> for one That picture. hurts. But Truebill <laughs> saved me from doing it again. <laughs> no, I agree. I, I love Truebill. It has definitely like saved me a lot of money. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about like all three of us. And <laughs> on average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> Mine's, they're That's at a one, okay? <laughs> and it's at the end. <laughs> Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. You guys don't fall for subscription scams like all of us have. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash Trash Tuesday. Go right now, Truebill.com slash Trash Tuesday. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash Trash Tuesday. Okay, who isn't like extremely stressed out around the holidays? I feel great and at ease, but it's because of Calper CBD. Honestly, between orchestrating travel plans and thinking about seeing my family, like I need help. I need a little help. Yeah, and I'm a hostess. Like the amount of work, I host my family for Chris Christmas. That's about 25 people. I usually have to um, find a caterer for all of these things. You guys, it's stressful. You got to call your mom to cater for. <laughs> yeah, I gotta call my mom. <laughs> that is hard to have to call your mom. <laughs> the holidays can be a little less jolly than we'd like. Between orchestrating travel plans, hurting the kids around, and pulling off all the shopping in time, we could use a bit more of that all is calm, all is bright vibe we hear so much about. With Caliper CBD, you'll feel better before you've finished your cocoa. So with most CBD, 
CBD, it's actually impossible to know when the, you'll actually feel the full effects, but Caliper CBD powder acts fast, and I mean really fast, as in 30 times faster than CBD oil, giving you all the benefits of CBD in just 10 minutes. In fact, Caliper is the only clinically proven CBD brand on the market, and because it's a dissolvable powder instead of an oil, it mixes completely into any food or drink with no grassy taste or oily residue. This holiday season, be your merriest with Caliper CBD. Get 35% off your first order with promo code TRASH at trycaliper.com slash trash. Try it risk-free for 30 days if you don't don't love it, they'll give you a full refund. That's trycaliper.com slash trash. Don't forget promo code trash for 35% off your first order. The only reason we really want to go to the strip club is to see Carlos and George at <laughs> yes. the strip club. Not Carlos, I've never seen you, you at the strip club. He gets Does so, he get boners? He gets so professional. He gets into oh, like Carlos. No, he, he like knows what he's doing. He's like he I has, made it rain on stage. Yeah, I immediately good. went to the ATM. He, he took out a bunch of money. We know you didn't make it rain with semen. Because <laughs> you have to have a boner he for that. He makes it. Wait, like what's a the point boner to, issue? Because Did we I, can't give you a boner. We it, can give there you There were four cameras on me. It Try not to give you a This is Flop your penis this on is my Hollywood, hand now. baby. Time is money. The cameras are rolling. Right Will Hawaii do the trick? go home. George has a baby. We can't be here forever. Wow. Oh. I love no, you. No, this got turned into. Listen. This just became a oh song. my god! Do you know what I realized? Do you know what I realized? Get you know what I realized? Find my camera. Do you know what I realized? When you go, listen. <laughs> I don't know why there's an issue about whether I, I can get erect or not. Fly you out here for you to cover my fucking camera. You're on care. the wide. Who gives you a there's hand job? There's one rule, Carlos. You don't cover Esther's camera. <laughs> You're okay? on the there's a you wide cover angle. Her check, part of the check. You cover <laughs> her from the sun. You cover her with a blanket when she's cold. You do not cover her camera. Thank you. The, Sorry, Carlos. The commenters, relax. It's just I have really, really baby soft hands, and I don't think that any penis should really miss this experience of my soft hands. That's all I'm saying. It's Everyone just more deserves that it. It's, it's on camera, it's daytime. There's like a husband back there. It's a whole thing. Oh. Like, uh, did you not want to get a boner looking at the husband? <laughs> it's hot. It's so much pressure. No, don't worry. This is a this is a bit, everybody. Yeah, every this. It's not I just a bit. Like, no, seen I, before you. Uh, these are actors. These are trained <laughs> crisis, <laughs> crisis actors. actors. No, I none need of a, this is real. No. no emotions are real here. But I will tell you. I think I realized that last night when I went in. You, I think you can't really unrape anyone. And I think what I learned oh. was, we, even though it un, it took my rape away, it gave it to Carlos. Yeah, I, think it I gave need it to a lawyer me. in the Honolulu area. <laughs> I felt very raped last night. But I feel like these outfits have raped us. Yeah, fuck you, Pete. What the, what the hell? I'm also, um, I, but actually, I look so there's something cute. that I wanted to talk to you guys about, get your opinion on. So I read this thing that um, people don't actually choose partners. Our bacteria chooses our partners. So it's like if we have a bacteria match, like what's in our mouth, um, that's who will determine what we're attracted to. So basically, have you ever been with a guy you really, really like, but he's constantly giving you UTIs and it's constantly you're feeling very beastie. Yeah, down homeless there all Julian. The time. Homeless Julian. Well, that was that because of a hygiene problem, or just Julian was. Um, he like well, he was uncut, and I don't think he was uh, mm -mm -mm. doing enough of the baby. He was he was storing some. He was like, fancy cheese. He was like an Esther, you know. What I was like, just trying to listen and just be innocent. <laughs> you are an innocent. I because I've never had one where I'm repeatedly getting. Oh, I have. I've had partners. I've just like I'm they're so high. I love when Esther's high. Can we get high? Can we smoke some weed? Yeah, we can. Wait, okay, I understand we have to talk about, to talk about, about this. body count. No, no, before body count. About the bacteria thing. Okay. I oh, want to yeah. know, like, are we attracted to people that smell like us, taste like us? Yeah. Um, that don't give us constant, like... I don't know if they smell like us because wouldn't I be attracted to my twin brother if it was like ah. us? It has to be a little different, right? It has to be yeah. complimenting, complimenting, but it can't be the same. Right, you're right, you're right. Because we're not trying to bang our hot ass twin brother. Yes. It's just like me. Just kidding. <laughs> What if, but I wouldn't do accidentally. Would you be so upset if Esther and I, I know he's married, but like if we just happen to accidentally sleep with your twin brother? I actually brother. would love that. Really? If my sister Whoa. was cool with well, I, I That always, creeps like, me. I'm like, ugh. It's like, that's like incest to me. What? For you to hook up with my brother? Yeah, that's like creepy to me. I think you would think my brother was hot because you are a little attracted to me. <laughs> you are. You have been for years. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, I'm busted. Shit, what do I do? I just laugh, pretend like it's a joke. I'm high. Oh, no, I'm high. <laughs> She's driving. 
that, is that you driving? You're back on the big island, <laughs> eating edibles, driving, eating pills, ready to go to sleep forever. <laughs> now that everyone knows, she's eating herself out. Oh no, she's gonna. You yoga. do. You you don't have any floating ribs, it seems. So you probably can't eat yourself out. I cannot eat myself out. You freak. You are flexible. You are. Uh, did we not? Did, did she not have any floating ribs like us? Uh-uh. She's like so tucked in here. I, I guess bet I'm you. just the perfect woman. <laughs> No can you way. try? There's not a chance. Hang on, let me no try. Way. No, I can't. Let okay. me try. I we, She's going to be able to do it. Yeah. If it, oh, you're very close to being able to do it. Way well, closer than me. But that was a long way. That was this a long is, way. This you gotta is, push my, you got to push my head in, Annie. <laughs> what if she <laughs> Give me an assist. <laughs> what if I broke her neck accidentally and she died? <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was what you were doing? <laughs> I'm gone. Escaping? Okay, so I don't know. I mean... I'm trying to think if I've had a boyfriend that smelled really bad. I probably, they probably wouldn't become my boyfriend. I think what's what's prompting me could. prompting me to ask this question is that um, I've been with dudes that are just so complimentary. Like my vagina feels amazing after, and I've been with dudes where it's like no matter how in love I was with them, we just weren't sexually like our bacteria were not m- matching mm-hmm. well together. Where I've constantly gotten like just you know yeah. the feminine the jings, you know. Yeah, I I. Uh, Look, I like where you're going with this, but I actually think that you're just mixing two different things that are happening. Like, I think that the guys that you were hooking up with were the bad yuckies. There were just hygiene issues. Like, you I don't think so. I don't like, think you got to so. pee after sex. You got to yep. like, wipe, yep. you know, pee during sex. Yeah, I think our bacteria chooses our partners, guys. I really do stand firm in that. I think there is something there where it's like, I know you love him, but this is not it. Like you are not complimenting each other's flora. But don't you think that that's just for children? That's just because they want your DNA is supposed to match to make the healthiest child. Who knows? But I mean, look, we could just write it out. If I think I love someone so much, I'm just going to uh, commit to a life of just beasties. Yeah. I don't know. It's the, to have a a daily cottage cheese. I, I don't know that <laughs> yeah, I would want I cannot, that. The, itchy, that the part of yeast infection that sucks is when it itches inside you. Yeah. It almost itch? feels better when you know what I mean. It's like, never mind. Oh, what when they they go in and yeah. jam it in there and itch it just itch it on the inside. Look, Esther's getting really happy about this. Oh my god, I was not. Look at her; she's rubbing. Look at you. Oh, she's, she's like, fingering your yeast infection. Ooh, do you use it as lube? Do you use the cottage cheese as lube? All right, I the yeah. I have rights. I have rights. Where's as her a bell? Human. You stupid bitch! You had the bell the whole time. I she already rang it. it. Once earlier. Oh, I don't even hear your bell anymore. It's like a dog whistle, but the opposite. <laughs> I've become immune to her. Only other dogs bell. can hear me. Oh, because you got the ugly outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Esther's body is, it's a weird thing that's happening. Yeah. I, I think you've no, always had it, but you're a Heidi. it's not a weird thing that's happening. But your body is just hitting a really good thank you. Good stride. Wow, yeah. thank you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you're peaking. Okay. But you have to coast it. Keep it going. Yeah. Okay, how? I'm not letting Never come back down. Go. I started peaking at 30, uh, probably 36. Let me see when I feel like I was starting to hit a peak. Probably 28. Yeah. But then really? I feel like I've, I've upheld it. I've I upheld the I peak. Had I've had some l- lulls there, but you know, yeah. I, I feel like I come back down and I peak again. Yeah. So I'm like Olamana. I just have multiple peaks. Peak how do you, is what we said. How, what's the best way <laughs> to induce a peak? Um, I think not in your a peak. good life I shake use. up. A life shakeup. Like okay. a bad heartache, a breakup, True. a friend breakup, a lover breakup, True. a betrayal. Yeah. You need a new lease on life. Yes. Yeah, so you need something that's going to shake you up so hard that you oh, shake up the dust. I had this. When? This year. Oh, yes, you did. That's why. Yeah. That's why you're hitting a, your third. Oh, this is the greatest thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mission statement in life, though. It's like, these are the best things. No, but. It shifts you in the right way. The trauma yeah. of the year. I, and then when you come it. stronger, you learn what you can get through. Annie, we had something that we were just going to talk about. Body count, body count. Oh, yes, the body count. Yes. This yes. bitch, we're sitting at, we're on a pond. By the way, everywhere in Hawaii, there's just, I'm on a pond. I'm on a, I'm on a rock. Mm-hmm. I'm on a piece of coral. Actually, oh, my God. In that house, the woman took the coral from the ocean and put it in the mm-hmm. Daisy Duke. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> Doris Duke. <laughs> Doris Duke. <laughs> Oh, it's Who a banana made that break. Joke? You made that joke. We can talk about the body yeah. count over banana break. Okay, perfect timing. Do you want to have a pussy eating I'll contest? I'll eat that later. I'll have my banana now. Do you want to have a papaya pussy eating contest? I yeah, come on, here. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about body counts. 
Okay. I hate that term. I Listen, feel like the young kids are using it. What does it mean? It's like how many people you've been with and mine is disappointing That's what that is. I thought Wait, she says this to me last night at the Koi Pond, right? She goes, she's like, you know, I realized my body count's like surprisingly low. Now that is a trigger warning for me. When someone says that to me, I hate when my hoe friends come out as like only having had sex with like seven guys. It makes me so mad where I'm like, I have been telling you everything, assuming this is like when you didn't eat the fucking muffin, bitch. This is like when you didn't have the biscuit. We're supposed mm. to be a goddamn team. Anyway, I thought we we're on the same page. Wait, here's what I want to know. <laughs> Last night you guys were at a koi pond talking about how many guys you fucked without me. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. You looked like one of the fish. <laughs> while you, were there. <laughs> you were there, Esther. <laughs> I just think that was weird. And how you should have the conversation again right now in front of me to watch while I eat my banana. <laughs> I mean, let's be real, Esther. We would have invited you. You would have said no. Okay. But mm -hmm. you just wanted the original invite. Yeah. Is that what you're upset That's about? That's big TFTI energy again, Esther. I forgot what's that. No, it's hard. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. Oh, fuck. No. That's I'm okay, cool. Though. We are on a trip together. Yeah. We should be look at, I've invited you to several things. But look at Annie That's getting chill. off. Look at Annie loving that I'm feeling left out and wanting to like make, make me. Make you feel better? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, go around the bedroom. So you were swimming in the koi pond as Annie and I were talking about our body counts. <laughs> You're a beautiful little fish in the pond. And um, um, yeah, I think that mine is sadly a lot lower than I would like. But it's not seven, thank God. It was, it's, it's, not a, seven. it's an acceptable number for me. No, it's in the upper 30s. And I think that... Um, That's okay. She wasn't a blackout drunk. Ah, but I... I but Nicole of, was with me. Her friend Nicole, we were both like, I don't remember but it wasn't that. It's like can't be that much. But it's like I don't. I was drunk. I don't remember. But I I, I kind of want to. I wanted that level of. I don't even know. I can't even count. Like that's what I want. But that is you're almost there. You just didn't drink that much. I know. I think it's because I was always in long term relationships, so I would burn a lot of rubber in between. Like if I was single mm -hmm. for six to eight months, then I would be like, oh, then I would you know try to make up for it by like being with like multiple people in one day. But then I just never got to that. You know. I don't think mine's that much more than yours. I just don't remember the number. Fuck. Right. It's around there. Yeah, but anyways, that was a conversation, Give Esther. It was very quick. 20 to 40. And you know what? Right when I said that, Esther, your little fish mouth came out of the pond, and we fed you, and you were a happy little fish. Thank you. <laughs> What's your body count, Esther? It's not high. <laughs> it's just all... <laughs> You're like, ooh, really? They're very questionable. All of her count is question marks. <laughs> we like Dave, and then the rest we go, what? Huh? <laughs> what? That guy? <laughs> really? Him? I forgot about that one. Ooh. I can promise you I've fucked way uglier guys than you. Hell yeah. I don't know that ugly is the issue. <laughs> ugly is like, because I hate my really hideous, fat, disgusting, ugly, scumbag ex-boyfriend, but it's because he was mean to my mom. It's not because he was fat. Oh, that's the worst. It was because he was uh, mean to my uh. mom. What did he say? He, um, well, two times. One time he made her cry. We were on vacation. He was just yelling that the internet wasn't working, but it was like an act of God. There had been a hurricane and that's why the internet was down. So he was like screaming. He was, at her that there was screaming no at the universe. No, he was mad at her. Oh. He was well. like, why would you have us come here with no internet? She's like, I didn't know it wasn't going to have internet. You know about yeah. the hurricane? She started crying. Ooh, I wish And then wish he did it again. We went back to, my mom got her ovaries out. And so I went to, I was living in New York, so I went them? to Philadelphia. Yes, I. that's actually what I got injected into my breasts. That's why, that's what we have here. <laughs> she has ovaries as titties. But, um, no, it was quite to see it. She showed me pick. But, so we went to go, like, I went to go take care of her. And he Are was like, I'll come with you. going to study the ovaries that you came out of? <laughs> <laughs> like, what did they do No, here? they're over those ovaries. So, like, <laughs> let's move on from this bitch. I used it today. Well, I used it last night. You know what I'm talking about. Manscaped. Man I stole my boyfriend's Manscaped. You guys, if you didn't buy your man Manscaped for Christmas, you are do it now. Out. It's not yeah. too late. It is the best thing you could do for yourself, actually. It's a good stocking stuff, her. <laughs> oh, boy. Manscaped created the ultimate groin and body trimmer by focusing on creating a comfortable grooming experience. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. So we all know the men in our lives need our help. Manscaped <laughs> will make it safer for them. We I feel like it's helping us, honestly. And we're fine with hair. We just need that hair a little bit better groomed. It can't be between mm. my teeth, okay? I have floss already. <laughs> just make it like respectable before, you know. Yeah. And not just even down there, up here too. 
Take care of your beards, guys. And your weird neck hairs. We know. Say goodbye to beard hair around the sink because the trimmer is waterproof, Esther. Did you know that? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get him to shave in the shower. And while he's in there, make sure he has the new ultra premium body wash from Manscaped to leave him feeling and smelling good. Their body wash is the perfect addition to his self-care routine. It's also infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep skin feeling clean, nice, and moisturized. I do think it's a super thoughtful gift for a guy because it's like self-care, but it's masculine. Mm -hmm. um, and also it's like, hey, this is for us later. Yeah, we're going to bang. You guys can get 20% off and free shipping with the code TRASH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use our code TRASH. Upgrade his 2022 self-care routine with Manscaped. He was... Me and my mom again. He went, he was like, oh, I'll make it up to her. And then he was mad that she wouldn't watch TV, a TV show he wanted to watch. Oh, gross. She was Who already was watching this person? TV. So babyish. No, he's a disgusting fat slob. He's oh. scum. He's an idiot. He shoves food in his Anyways, mouth all day. Anyways, back he to my himself. ugly fucks. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, I think that you cannot possibly beat the amount of ugly dudes. Mine's so, I've... can I just show you how ugly this guy is? She knows how ugly he is. Yeah. He's, well, I, he's number one, the ugliest. I'm not gonna. If I don't. He like, lost weight. His face would be ugly. <laughs> this is the Christmas episode. I just want to remind yes, everyone. And we're gonna do the jingle bells of the past. Now all of a sudden they don't want to talk about their exes. I finally have a good story about a gross fat ex. I was into and it. And now they're like, oh, we don't want to call them today. Oh. No, we don't want to talk about them today. No, yeah. I'm doing. This is the jingle balls. You guys now want to be Christmas present? All of a sudden, this bitch has been in Christmas past the whole time. <laughs> yeah. I truly, I honestly have been. And how do you feel about that? Do you feel over it? What? Your past, you're done with it? I got unraped yet last night. This was, I wish Esther was there. Thanks. For the unraping. It really was a magical moment between Annie and I, I have to say. We didn't log our rape in that book. We didn't though. log our rapes. It's like, you can, we should have just put a, the um, Well, we'd still be there today. Oh my God. We'd still be there today. Oh, yeah, today? No, so I was like, we're going to be here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need a scroll. But what if we just left the URL to the podcast? <laughs> you want to hear our rape stories? We got Chock 41 episodes. <laughs> we have uh, some clam decanes for uh, Christmas. Clam decanes? Here's like, what I want to... Do you know what I want to start, are. though? I want to start on the show eating good food. I want to start getting weird foods that are from different places and highlighting how good they taste. Mm -hmm. I want to, or they have to be alive. Did you switch places with Esther? That's what? what she's been saying since day one. No, but she doesn't want to. No, she wants to eat Cheetos. No, Esther's like, I've never tried Cheetos. That was Esther's idea. Oh, that's To right. do an unbagging of the chip we've all eaten. <laughs> I'm talking about like, okay, Nick, our jeweler, who's going to be giving us jewelry soon. <laughs> Very good, nice, expensive jewelry for free. And we're going to wear it and tag him. Um, our jeweler friend, he did weird research and got like Kalila, her favorite snack. From oh my God. He got me sweet corn. How good were the sweet corn? I ate all of them. I'm sorry. It's okay. He got me Choco Star. He got me the greatest like Filipino hits, like the snacks from my childhood. Really good. But that's a type you of You ate them like all? I ate them all. She I really did eat I my whole bag of sweet mall. corn. Let me tell you, did I, I eat them all? <laughs> you ate them all. No. Oh, no, Esther's favorite place on earth. I ate the <laughs> what, Did you go shopping yesterday? Is Not that... at all. No, I'm so. You brought that puffy jacket? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Esther has a win the fullest winter jacket. She's the only one that thought it might snow in Hawaii. Also, shout what out did? to um, Annie for drawing my abs. These abs They've are courtesy worn out a of. Bit. Oh God, are they gone? They look good though. No, they oh, okay. Good. Her her torso is so much longer than mine. Drawing her abs, I really realized like our anatomy. I have is quite giant different. protruding ribs that look well, like titties. So do I, but my ribs start just lower than yours. Yeah, they've you have always just got longer. Yeah, you get I the have torso going. What do you think it'll be like if we all go to a strip club? Like, who's going to be doing what? Who's getting? I have dance? a feeling it's never going to happen. No, 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 no. Okay, can I just say you. something? Things are going to happen. I just think what happened here is we thought, we all thought someone else was in the lead and no one was in the lead. Yeah, no one was in the and lead. And that's what happened. So, um, George, you are fired. It's so weird for you to be here with your replacement, Carlos. But Carlos, <laughs> you are now the sole producer of this podcast. But the first thing about being our producer is you have to get a boner on camera right now. <laughs> Yes. Just kidding. Please don't. Um, yes, yes. Please. No, 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 no. But I think that that's what happened. I think in the future we now have plans and we need to go places. We need to like have we I know we have like slugs out here that want to like 
show us their hotel or show us mm-hmm. their like cool excursions and stuff like that. We need to like plan it with our people. Well, here's get the thing: cool when going. it's like when it's hi- when it's raining this hard, it's also hard to hike. Of course, yeah, it's not very so. It's like basically all of our plans were sort of um, uh, um, we're loose hiking plans. Yes, we're yeah. loose. You know, it was very weather dependent. But okay, so strip club. But that's Back okay. To strip club. We're definitely going. We unsuccessfully went to one last night. Or successfully did not even bother to we were go tra- to one last night. We just didn't night. go. We didn't plan it. We, we didn't, need do, it. We didn't it do it. It needs to be like the car's picking us up at this time. We're Wait, going. What, is- what time is good? Because 9 p.m. people are already getting tired. That's too late. But strip clubs don't get like popping right to like 10, 30, We 11. do need to just get up. You need to take Adderall or something, bitch. Oh, she, my God. She can't take Adderall. Or do we, can we give you a nap? Are you a nap person? But after you're asleep, you're not coming. You're not getting back. I can hold you in my arms and walk you into the Vaginas strip club. Vaginas and boobs I think can't that get would you to stay up till 11. No, I can do this. I, can I do have this. offered you to carry oh, you in my kangaroo kangaroo pouch this whole time, Oh, right? that's actually so cute. Will you? Yes. My little Randy bag. I wish I I feel it. like I need to use the bathroom. Go, go use the poo-poo. bathroom. Go, go. Do you think yeah. your period's leaking? Yeah. Let's In a see. Santa suit? <laughs> on our friends. It's a couch. great color no. to accidentally period on, Esther. Go okay. cram a tam. Bring it back to show us. We'll blur it out. Carlos, go get her tampon. Carlos, take her tampon out. So I just, when we go to the strip club, this is my like mission statement for the strip club. When I go to strip clubs, I get very uncomfortable. Whoa. I think I don't like lean in. I'm like, there's a vagina on me. Like I'm never, I want to like get a lap dance and I want to lean in. I'm it. a Carlos. He's a pro. I've been to- he, he knows what he's doing at the strip club. I've been to I lots of strip clubs. I can't wait to see Carlos in a confident position for once. <laughs> Annie, here's a trick. You just have to assume it's just like any old bar. That's what I do. I walk into the strip club at, and it's just like a boardroom meeting. I a just, bar. I think it's like I get self-conscious or something, but I'm not, I'm refusing With to. us, you'll be fine. Wait, yeah. I have to say at the strip club last time, Esther did witness one of the black like bodyguard dudes give me a fist bump like two hours in. He was just she like, knew you because you're a regular? <laughs> it was in New York, but he just knew that I got it. Or yes. was that him going, I'll give you my lap dance in the back. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can have sex in this. He marked room. me with poison. <laughs> Here's All a right. fucking fun topic that George wants me to talk about. What? <laughs> I want to talk about what we were talking about before too. About okay, there's this tennis player. His name I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But I think it's Nick Kyrgios. This tennis player is taking a career hiatus because he says he gets too horny on the court. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I have that problem at my job too. (laughs) What, when you're in court? (laughs) When you're a professional court watcher? She just sits in the audience, (laughs) slip sliding around, gushing. I actually, it's funny you said that because I had to stop playing tennis because of the opposite problem. I was so dry down there, I was chafing. (laughs) Todd, literally, we were playing tennis and one time I was just like, we have to go now, my thighs are bleeding. Like I was like in so much pain. Because my tennis skirt had ridden up. And so I think I need to get a little horny before we go in. So I can slish slash Ew. around on the sides. Just- Wait, but weren't you tennis girl for a year? I was tennis girl for about one month. Okay. I was around for that. I didn't so know. Why are you acting like you? this is surprising? You're just remembering. I didn't remember any like extra crust flying around. <laughs> <laughs> just the regular amount. <laughs> <laughs> flying crust, that's what they say. Kalila, what's, have you ever gotten too horny to work? <laughs> okay here's the thing about women like we we don't have spontaneous arousal like men men could look Sometimes, like a fucking banana tree and then just have a boner i pulled over once and had to masturbate on the side of the road you once. have mm-hmm. were you on molly's no but it was like it was a weird time i was also living in the car that was when i was living in the car so, <laughs> so you it were, was a lot more convenient yeah, you were count. jerking off at home yes yeah, so i was at home was you at were home. at home okay so that makes sense no i was looking at my sublime poster over the passenger side window i'm, I'm, I'm all <laughs> reactive arousal like you have to do so you have to, yes i, I look feel at like, something and be yeah. Ooh, like no I, that's not me what I do think you need the person to do i need the person <laughs> to here's what i really because i'm really I like bad. to squat kind of and lean back with their head on a shell <laughs> here's what Esther, Ooh, I'm really bad. I'm, I'm getting horny. This I'm is... really bad with um, eye contact. So when someone knows how to look Ooh. right at me. Oh my me, God, tickle. <gasps> Tingy, tickle. That'll get me. Good eye contact. Good eye contact, oh. Will? Like strong. Like Wait, I'm we've gonna... talked about the lean on here. Have we talked about the lean? I cannot get yes, comfortable the on a bench. Yes. The I'm lean a... always makes me soaking wet. What's the lean? The when lean they is... lean in, they, they lean. It's from, I think. It's from the 90s. It's from Jordan Catalano, but it's the lean in. They lean into you. They they take your personal space. You're against like a locker or something, you know, and they lean into you and they're hovering over you and they say something not sexual. 
Like what? Like they'll just be like, "Yeah, paper clips." Did you, you have a paper homework? clip? And yeah. then you're like, "Oh, oh. it's really yeah." Because yeah. it would be too much if they said something sexual. You'd be like, oh, "You're already in my space." Wait, wait. So earlier, while we were taking a second banana break, wait, we're taking a second we banana a second break, banana by the way. Because George, like ben- a second, your um, break. Cavendish bananas. <laughs> is that what your outfit is? Are you just? Would you like a second one, <laughs> little girl? You leaned in. I hope it just transmitted COVID to you. <laughs> Wait, what did I miss? Why do we need a second banana break? Oh, Here, Macron. here's why. Your Cavendish bananas are not on brand with Island Life. So Kara has some real- Kara um, has some special Oh, we need a second bra- banana break because Kara has special bananas that- uh, Well, they're not special. Was, they're just, you know what I mean? They're like local a variety. bananas. Yeah. But they are special. Oh my God. While we're waiting, let's give you guys the clam canes. <laughs> it's a candy sounds... clamity. Why do you sound uh, like you're on for... Price is Right? That sounds like it's chlamydia in it. And how much clam- is it clam or it's chlamydia? Well, this is special for the- uh, Oh my God, look at these little <laughs> munchkins. In the Philippines, I'll we call this clam. tungdan. What is that? It's better banana. It's very sweet. It's whiter. Oh, it's so cute. Esther doesn't want it. What is that? It just sounds, if you don't say it right, it sounds fully racist. Yeah. If you don't say it right, Well, I teach you. Tung. Tung. Dan. Dan. Yeah, got it. Tung dung. Well, that sounds racist. Tung dung ding dung. This is sweeter. Esther's penis, no? They are sweeter. <laughs> you never seen. Oh my god, is that It's a little chode. Uh, I Esther, love a chode. Congrats on your penis size. It's so cute. Uh, it's it is done. sweeter. It tastes like kind of like a grape. Oh, it smells. These it. are my it's favorite so bananas. Good. It's good. Uh-huh. Can we get these now for banana mm, breaks? Yeah, we need them <laughs> imported. They're hard to find at home. George, that oh, won't be a so problem for Mister George. Oh George, my God! Small bananas only. Or we're not coming to work. <laughs> now I got we're replaced by Carlos earlier this episode, so now it's his problem. Here we go. Mm. Carlos isn't is his problem is the short squat things. What were we talking about in the corner in secret over there that we, we wanted to talk about over here? When you it when you bang sexual. a guy and he brings. His the energy from like what he learned, like he brings his moves and are like he brings moves, moves that work. are detailed to another. Yeah, woman. Those right. Are, you learn those on some other bitch's body. Whatever you learn <laughs> that you had to curtail for another woman is not going to work on us. You have to start from scratch. You have to and start. You got to get to know our bodies. We're very different. What might have blown her mind is quite likely will not blow my mind. No, it'll make me blow my head off, okay? off my body away from you, <laughs> <laughs> and the direction away from you. Okay. I guess what I learned on Kalila, I won't bring it over to you, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> You're finishing on me? Well, I thought it was the open mic. <laughs> She's the oh my God! What? Oh my God, I almost spit into my banana and there was a fly eating it. Oh, Esther. Oh my God. Wait, a fly that came around and then still, st- <laughs> was it in, from the inside of the banana? It wasn't even a fly. If it comes from the outside Just in, know that fine. this camera angle, you have something good later. <laughs> oh my god, she's getting cocky. That's cocky behavior. A fly landed on your banana and you screamed, that's not good enough. I just can't imagine you could ever really survive in anywhere tropical because flies are a thing, Esther. Uh, look, you, I you, don't you learn find... to do this. You do this. Mm. You just do this. That Over problem is, is I'm so not scared of it's just I almost bit the fly and I don't want to eat a fly. I know you girls love eating flies. <laughs> I don't like eating She's flies. a refugee. She had you to can't eat flies. Say that. I'm don't a refugee. Rude. That's so mean to say to her. <laughs> So you know, and, and she's in her and she's in her I had to eat flies um, stance. <laughs> That's her refugee I had to eat flies stance. <laughs> she's in it. Look at her. Oh, my that God. Is, that is so fucking funny. It looks like a look. She's just there ready to catch one. She's hungry. <laughs> it's some protein for the day. She needs her protein for the day so she can keep climbing. And get I bananas. ate two bananas today. Can I get paid twice? <laughs> Esther thinks there's like a payment tree. There's like a big guy. Can I get paid for two episodes today? <laughs> Did you see how big um, Arlene's bana- uh, banana tree, <laughs> her money tree was in her house? Oh my God, Arlene's money tree was huge. I've gotten money trees. They've never lasted more than a week. <laughs> That's okay. why her money doesn't last more than a week. But you know what? I should pay someone to water it. That's the most gangster money move. To pay someone to just come to water my one money tree. So your money tree loses you money? <laughs> no, it will gain me money. Spending money, you got to spend money to make money. It's true. You don't know nothing. <laughs> I got to teach you. So I'm I know show everything. I don't know nothing. I know that means I know everything. Two negatives equals Someone positive. punch her in the face now. Carlos, you're my handler. <laughs> Smack her. Slap her with your dick. What if what if when Carlos was bringing his dick towards you, a fly landed on it? Would you freak out? Why would he bring his dick towards <laughs> me? Because I told him to. <laughs> I would freak out for other He's reasons our producer than now. the fly. He's our producer. The smell. 
Congrats on your new job, by the way, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's been assaulted by the three female stars. Carlos, now would you say well, pick up your mic, please? Two and a half. I want to I want to make this very clear for you guys. He is our crisis actor, and we should probably get this out the way. Did you feel at all violated? I'm a crisis actor. I tried actor. to. Yeah. <laughs> Also our producer, so get with it. I also did you did at all feel He's violated? He's a crisis. Crisis. When, on my birthday, when I um, <laughs> touched your penis from afar with a wooden cane. Yeah. You felt and, violated? And Annie is surprised that I didn't immediately get hard from that. Just okay, so No, I'm surprised you didn't get one of Esther's lawyers on board. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get some moolah out of this money train. Wait, so what are you asking me if I I'm felt- I'm asking you, like, what were your feelings? Did you feel at all resentful towards me, violated? Did you want to call HR? No, I didn't know we had HR, but I did. You are HR. <laughs> we are. No, actually, HR is hand rub, and that's what we got. <laughs> so when you call, no, them, I didn't feel one. resentful until like I read comments and people were like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> did I they know really? what, you guys? So, we don't. I we don't like, like sissies, okay? No, Carlos has been one of my best friends for ten years. I think people don't realize that. Like, he's not they just don't really the intern. Feel no, the people saying that are guys that are mad that they think it's unfair that rapists are getting in trouble for raping women. <laughs> and they go like, if a guy did that to a girl, it's like, well, we've been raped so many times. He's a right? sex worker. He's a sex worker. He's a sex worker. He leads us to the strip club. <laughs> yes. You're, you're, you're a leader. Should we name the podcast Three Sixes? I think we, not Three Sixes. I think I'm sticking to Hot Holes. S hot Skull holes? fucked. This faith-based podcast. <laughs> I We have three this. good options. Yeah. Should we change skull it or keep slug? it the same? Because honestly, Skull Slugs, no. Skull Slug, the faith based Nobody podcast said skull or not? Skull Slugs. No one said that, George. George go. Hang Comment on, section. Hit, a, hit us with Skull Slugs. Go hang with your Let them know. George. Let them know what you love. Um. All right, guys. I think. Um, Wait, can we just say the three? <laughs> the three ones. We have three sixes. If you get that, it's because we're sixes and also 666. Six, six. Esther's is voting for Skull Fucking uh, Faith. No, that's mine. So mine is Skull Fuck the Face a Faith Based Podcast. She got That's my number really one. Clingy. I don't care. I uh, bring back Oh yeah. well you started. Well, if you come into my hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Carlos is sleeping in. A real <laughs> bath of blood. Carlos is like, how did it get up into the corner? <laughs> Swingy. You have to understand what is Carlos doing? Should I publicly apologize to you? No. Kalila, you're making this. Are are you is it because of the comments I don't or something? Comments. I didn't even know there were comments about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think it was a bad thing. Like, did someone say something to you? Give like, me your dick. Put your dick in my hand right now. Shake on it. <laughs> we're okay, guys. Carlos and I are okay. <laughs> nothing to see here. Nothing to cry about. No big deal. He is somebody that I'm going to fondle and by the way, for the rest okay, of my life. Alliance. Okay <laughs> does stand for on ketamine. So. <laughs> I mean, when it, you gets, see me do that on stage, it, it, it can it. get hard, though. You're in there, my camera. Oh, I believe that. We're don't in my camera. I was in her camera. Yeah. I will never get I'm hard again. Not, Esther I'm put a curse on you. To do it. I'm not the girl for the job. It, no, I believe Kalila, it can get hard. I'm just not boner. the girl for the job. I feel no, no, wait. Can I just say something, Kalila? You give everyone a boner. Uh, except for Carlos. No, Carlos is under pressure. Okay? Yeah. He's nervous. Yeah, I also have like Lexapro in my system. Oh, my God. These two. The Lexapro twins. <laughs> you guys are pros of the Lex. I'll tell you that. They are. This is where their professional comes in. Who wants to close this? Out, honestly, Esther? I don't know if it's the weed, but or the climate. But I have. Ne I felt like this was seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> this was the longest podcast of my life. It was off the rails. I loved it. I you guys, loved it. thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Hawaii is just a wonderful place. It is. We're on the North Shore. It's gorgeous. Kalila, take us home. Literally, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do what I do best, which is just bail on you guys without letting you know. <laughs> Thank you for saying that because I was about to interrupt whatever you're going to say you did best with that. No, she's just gone. She'll just, there's just like a car driving off with like, like all this cool stuff in it. They're going to like do surf or something. Like, oh, uh, there's just a surfboard driving off in the way. Uh, that is like, my I style. Guess. No goodbyes, just a complete bail. It's a Filipino exit. <laughs> it is. is it? Thank you guys so much for watching this very special Christmas episode. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Can you say it correctly this time? Say it first. Mele. Mele. Kalikimaka. Kalikimaka. There we go. Mele Kalikimaka. Can I just say things I want to talk about on the next episode yes. so we are held to them? I saw the movie old. I went home and saw my parents. I want to talk about some real deep, serious shit with you bitches, okay? Okay. Got it. Time to eat papayas. I'll see you guys later. About how life moves on. All right, guys, love you. Happy Bye. holidays. Enjoy your calendar, Carlos. Bye.